Bitcoin has had a really nice pump along with the rest of the crypto market. However, is this pump over? Are we going to continue going up? That is the question we're going to go over in this video. Let's dive right in. So yesterday we talked about this golden pocket and this golden pocket was from the entire macro structure of this local region. Okay. So from 39,500 up to 44,000, the golden pocket was right here at between 41,450 to 41. 42 okay this is the general region that we were looking for well we came down here tested it once tested it twice and now we have bounced up so far the golden pocket has held up very nicely now furthermore we had these two lows that were formed one right here in january 11th and one that was formed here on january 18th we went back below swept both of those lows and like i've mentioned many times in other videos Sweeping a low is a very bullish sign if you're able to go below it and then close back above it, okay? So sweeping these lows is very bullish signals. So those were the two major things that we were looking for. However, like I mentioned yesterday, if we fall back below them, we are going to see significantly less, all right? 39.5 and 37.282 are my primary targets if we were to lose those levels. And the key things that I was looking for were these two hourly breakers. We have one right here and one right here. Well, we came down here, touched the first one, bounced up, came back down, touched the second one, just tapped off of it, and we never saw it again. That is a really good sign. So furthermore, this trend line was formed and we have now busted above. Cool thing as well is we actually have a decent amount of volume on this increase. I've checked other charts, Binance, uh, Coinbase, and all these other ones are showing an increase in volume as well. This means buyers are stepping in, which means I do expect this to continue up in some capacity. Uh, we may have some sort of a retracement, but overall, I think the direction now will be up at least for the short term. Now, for the targets I'm looking at, the most obvious target that we cannot ignore is going to be right here. This is the yearly open. Okay, yearly opens are extremely significant. Let me show you. Let me show you exactly how significant they are by going and annotating it for the last year. Let's go over here to the 12 month. Right here, 2021 yearly open. Let's go to the daily. This interaction on the yearly open has been absolutely stellar. So we tested it, we we uh, we came back below it, we retested it, we took off. This is actually a key level that we were able to look for a sweep of the yearly open and were able to catch the bottom live on stream back in 2021, okay? So this yearly open has acted as a very strong support. Right now we are below the yearly open, so this level is a very serious contender of where we are going to find resistance at. So do not ignore this level. Now, outside of that, the 200 moving average is another level that I think could give us a lot of problems. So right here at around 48,700, give or take. But again, this is a moving average. That means you need to be aware of where it's at at the time of the charting. Um, so that's my overall expectation as far as where our two local levels are. However, ultimately, I am expecting us to get back up into these major areas. This is my three-day point of breakdown. And this is the yeah, three-day point of breakdown here. And this is our three-day breaker, okay? Um, this is also the golden pocket of the entire uh, this entire drop, which means there is a ton of confluence in this area that this will be the final top before a continuation back down. And I've went into extreme detail in previous videos. I'm not going to do that again. Just understand, I am expecting us to get up here. I am expecting us to reject, and I am expecting new lows after we get there. So, but in the short term, I think we do have some sort of a retracement. And our altcoins are what I'm really looking for to really make a movement. As you guys are probably aware, if you've been on this channel, we do have a four hour level that we've been watching for a while. This trend line has been formed. We broke down below it. We came back up, we tested it, and now we're continuing back down. We want to see this continue to go back down because that would mean that altcoins are showing strength relative to Bitcoin. And we have had a hell of an altcoin drop already. But this does look so a very clear impulsive movement. This looks like some sort of a consolidation. So my overall expectation is that we do drop down further so that altcoins continue to show strength relative to Bitcoin. Now on the local time frame, though, 
all coins are actually showing a lot of weakness relative to Bitcoin, but Bitcoin's also the easier one to play uh, on that uh, in that consolidation period. So what I'm expecting to happen here is that Bitcoin is going to continue going up once it finds resistance at perhaps a 200 moving average at the yearly open, things like that. I think what's going to happen is that money, the, the Bitcoin dominance is going to start dropping back down. And then altcoins are going to show strength and continue to push back up, right? So as this number drops, altcoins show strength. So either we're going to get one more push up and then a collapse. That's what my overall expectation is, a push up into the yearly open or the 200 moving average. And then we're going to overall collapse. And that's when our altcoins are really going to take off or at least have the opportunity to. Um... Let's see what else, what else, what else. Something cool to notice as well. The shorts are decreasing by quite a bit. That means that people are losing confidence in the drop that they were expecting. Okay, so whenever you have a lot of shorts open, that means people are betting the drop is going to happen. When the shorts start closing, that means they are either getting liquidated or that means that they are losing confidence in their short positions. So they're taking profits and licking their wounds and going home. Longs are increasing, not by much, but they are increasing by a little bit. Um, Dow Jones is actually showing a strong day today so far. That's a good sign because crypto and traditional stock markets do tend to go hand in hand on their movements. Um, DXY is starting to show some weakness. Uh, remember, we have this daily breaker. We formed it. We've been hovering above it, acting as a support. However, we have lost it and now we have bearishly retested. So ultimately, my expectation is for us to continue going back down. However, if we do get back above this region and start showing strength like what this shows, that would be a very bearish sign for the crypto market and traditional stock assets. All right. So be very cautious if you start to see us getting back above the 96, uh, 96 region on the D on the, uh, the DXY. All right. Um, total market cap, disregard that. It's just a graphical error. However, on the total market cap, we are starting to make some major reclaims. Uh, this trend line that's been formed ever since the very top. We are starting to reclaim it again. We've reclaimed it multiple times. So I don't know how significant it's going to be, but be aware that we are starting to show some strength on that. But I think more importantly, the total three chart is showing a lot of strength. So if you go onto the normal interval chart, draw a trend line from the very top down to the bottom, you can see the interaction we've had here. So test, 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 break above. We did have a deviation of some, of some capacity, but we did break back above it. This looks like a fairly decent retest, and now we are starting to push back up. So this is a really nice reclaim. If we can show some strength on the total, total three, that means that the altcoins will be having a lot of movement here. Um, outside of that, oh, one more thing I do want to show you guys. This is going to be the fear to greed index. Fear to Green Index, we are an extreme fear across the board. That means that people are terrified right now in the overall market, right? Whenever you have extreme fear, that means the sentiment is very, very low. Uh, you ever heard the expression, buy when there's blood in the streets? This is essentially what that means, right? When people are terrified and people are capitulating, people think this can't go up, it won't go up, etc. This is generally a really good time to start buying, Okay. And the historical analysis, if you go back, shows the bottoms generally occur when you are at extreme fear, just like the tops generally occur whenever you are at extreme greed, right? So this indicator, although it's not extremely accurate by any means, it is a good idea just to get an idea of what's going on with the overall sentiment. Oh, and one more thing I want to show you guys. Let's go to the funding and see how our funding is doing. I actually don't know. So let's do that right now. Indicators, funding. Um, funding is still negative. Okay. We are still negative. That means we have a long ways to go. There are a lot of people in over, uh, over compromised or in compromised short positions. So if this does start to go up, these guys who are in these underwater short positions are going to get just absolutely wrecked. Okay. Um, generally when the funding is positive, it signifies the top, as you guys can see. And whenever the funding is very negative, that signifies the bottom. And you can go back and see this funding ratio works really, really well. All right. Um, so yeah, we are in we are in pretty low funding right now, and that is a really good sign for a continuation in the market. But one thing at a time. Um, don't don't rush yourself. We need to make sure we get some confirmations, and don't forget we do have the yearly open around 46,000 as well as the daily moving average 
at around 48,000 as our primary levels to watch out for as we go up. Outside of that, I'll let you guys I'll let you guys go. Have a fantastic day and I'll be streaming later and I'll be doing a ton more altcoin analysis. So, make sure to click on that um, live stream when it does come out. See you guys. Have a good day.